they present it like this is this is their audience, and we know it's not. Okay, there. <laughs> I am the young end of the audience for Harley for the most part. <laughs> Nice dreary day. I shouldn't get poured on. That seems to be over for the day. But, you know, who knows? So, it's cool enough, luckily, to wear the scorpion jacket. Admittedly, with just a t shirt underneath. Uh, because otherwise, it would be too warm. Get the go camera on here. pretty much always ride with that camera even if I don't want the GoPro going uh, that's kind of my dash cam as well as uh, kind of occasionally b-roll you guys know me I'm not big on um, a lot of different angles I honestly <clears throat> I see the appeal I, I understand I don't think you guys realize what that adds to the production time. <laughs> These guys you see doing multiple angles all the time. And it's all synced up beautifully and it's all glorious. You have no idea how much time and effort they have put into this. It is astounding. And I have to admit, I'm a little lazy about this. Uh, I'm not doing this for a living. I'm not making any money off of this right now. I would like to. Uh, not even getting any free t-shirts out of this. So I'm kind of in the position of, I can only give it so much time out of my life. You know, like it's, it's a, a time killer, not a, not a job. Ooh, let's uh, close the vents. Whew. Chilly, damp air. Clean off the front brake a little bit. So yeah, I mean, it's a thing. But anyway, topic for today, Harley's advertising, because this is, I saw this the other day, and I hadn't noticed it particularly lately, um, I think I've noticed this in the past, and then just, you know, forgot about it, their advertising and their market don't match up, and I think it's intentional, because I think they're trying to change their market, but it is hysterical. Go look at Harley's website. We're going this way. Uh, go look at Harley's website and all of the people on it are young, pretty, uh, <laughs> Metro folks, uh, to put it nicely, they're dressing like they're uh, the marketing material. And I mean, they are, but nobody actually dresses that way. They present it like this is this is their audience. And we know it's not. OK, they're, <laughs> I am the young end of the audience for Harley for the most part. And they're trying to gain market share elsewhere, and they're, they're not doing a bad job. <clears throat> uh, working with people like Blockhead and, and Jess from Her Two Wheels certainly does not hurt. But, let's be real. There is not a single person on that website 
that seems to fit the actual primary market base. For Harley Davidson. Their audience is not represented on their website. <clears throat> and, I mean, it has to be intentional. All right, we got to buy Yorks. Uh, has to be intentional. I'm not against it. I, I understand what they're thinking is in general of <clears throat> our audience has aged out. We need to start appealing to a younger crowd. I'm just not sure this full tilt swing to very polished, professional, almost urbanite, I, I, I guess, like, they're treating it like it's an escape because a lot of the advertising is these guys that look like somebody who spends their day in an office and in the gym dressing up the part and then getting away from the office in the city. That seems to be the, <laughs> the advertising. And I'm like, well, what about the rest of America? Uh, because the blue collar crowd honestly represents most of your customers. And you don't seem to be representing them too well. Now, to topic number two, because we may or may not get this into this video. The breakout. I think the breakout's a very interesting bike. On the other hand, I expect it to get and continue to get, like it already has gotten it, uh, a lot of attention versus the sales count. Because what you're getting, you're getting a lot for your money. But you're getting a lot of, this is what we think you want to build. You're not getting a lot of bike overall. You're getting a lot of pre-done upgrades that people do. And here's the problem. If those aren't the particular ones you want, if those wheels aren't the ones you want, if those handlebars are not the ones you want, if those pegs are not, you get the idea. Well, then you're going to have to spend the money anyway. So you didn't, you didn't get a head by buying it pre-done. You might as well have bought a soft tail standard and ripped all that stuff off and built it the way you want it. Come on, folks. I really want to get ahead of the rain. I got my GoPro patched. I am under the last pocket of potential rain here, and it's like drizzling on me. It's going to be very cold if I get wet. <laughs> so yeah, I think the breakout, like, in and of itself, it's a cool bike, but... Like, okay, you paid for fancy paint, you paid for all those modifications, so to speak. And they were cheaper than if you had done them yourself from a, a stock bike, right? Much cheaper. But, like I said, if those aren't the ones you wanted, now you paid half again, right? And I'm just not sure that it's anything but a showpiece of, hey, we understand the market, we understand what you guys like, here's your pre-done version. Yeah, you can you can look like one of the cool guys from the factory. See, I don't think they're going to sell a whole lot of them. I think that it's going to be decent. I think it'll be worthwhile for them. And I think they got a lot of good press out of it, which is possibly worth what they put into it all on its own.
it's not cold out here, but this breeze is cold. It's like a wet air. And I gotta be honest, like even through the jacket, because I don't have a liner in, I'm just wearing a lightweight uh, t-shirt underneath. Should be. So, anyway, take care, have fun, stay safe, and enjoy the ride.